Hi guys and welcome back. I am Red Zed and today we are back with Massalia in Imperator Rome for the final part of this little mini series. Now in today's episode we are going to be trying to create a Western Greek Empire to rival anyone else out there that might be a large empire, you know, uh, Carthage, uh, Rome, uh, Mauritania to some extent, <laughs> but Carthage and Rome most likely. If we look out in the east, you can see the Seleucids are basically dead, the Ptolemies are in pieces, um, and the Antigonids are just kind of everywhere. So we could maybe become the preeminent Hellenic or Greek power in the world in this episode, uh, but let's see. Last episode, of course, we did manage to take Rome in a very, very, very bloody war. You can see that our war exhaustion is currently at 19.68, which is not good. So basically, we are just going to chill for a little bit, do some of our more developy missions like the glass blowers of Tukis over here, having civic advances greater than five. We just need to wait for that etc. Plugging the gaps, all of that sort of thing. We're going to be building some buildings, trying to build up our economy as well. Now, I want to thank all of you for your amazing comments. Thank you very much for all your comments and tips and tricks. And many of you did notice that I probably shouldn't have made both Soluvian and Volkayan um, integrated cultures. That probably wasn't the smartest idea, but I should probably now make Roman a um, integrated culture because we get those free Juicy innovative innovations. I nearly said innovative. That EU4 innovations from it. So we are going to do that. It's not the best choice ever because we do have two of these guys already. Um, but based on the situation we're already in, I think it's worth it. Now let's invoke Devotio over here a little bit. I'm willing to go up to about 10 tyranny for that. That's no problem whatsoever and we are not using too much of our influence at the moment to keep our stability nice and high and because that stability is nice and high guys let's get denied priests in senate it's going to make the traditionalists and democrats a little bit unhappy but um <laughs> i mean uh they are pretty much <laughs> like the oligarchs and traditionalists just hate me anyway so yeah can we get a king does, does anyone fancy being the king? Please. <laughs> well, we do have an innovation, guys, and we are going to go down towards gradual economic integration. That's going to allow us to build the Grand Theatre, guys, which is going to be very, very helpful for converting some of our guys. I just love the fact, guys, that when uh, when you take Rome, it's no longer Roma. It's, uh, it's Rome now. It's the Greek Rome. So uh, that's excellent. I mean, I guess I'm just impressed by small things. That's been in... Other Paradox games for a long time, but it still impresses me every time. And that is the first of our playing tall sort of missions done, guys, for 240 months. Pretty nice. National commerce income and Navy maintenance cost. Of course, we shall take that. Very nice. Our Gelon Bucalid is very, very popular right now. And now Roman is an integrated culture, my friends. Saluvian, Volcayan, and Massalian. Not too happy about that. That's okay. That will now allow us to actually use our experience that I was uh, saving up for that as well. And here we go, guys. We get another free city, which is very, very nice. Thank you very much for that. And we have a separatist war, my friends. A separatist war. Let's uh, get all the levies that we can. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. We won't need um, any sort of mercenaries for this war, guys. But um, let's get going. We should be okay. We do get 8k from Rome now as well, which is actually very nice. And we are um, we are actually uh, studying their ways of war now, so we can get their innovations when we need to. And another rebellion. It was pretty likely after all, especially with all the, the happiness going down for all our people. So, yeah, it's not great, but it should allow us to reset <laughs> some of the... Uh, <laughs> Some of the bad modifiers from some of these places. Finally, let's get gradual economic integration. I've stockpiled a little bit of money so that we can uh, start to convert in some of our cities. Let's have a look. What is a good city for this? 
this is a very, very good city for it because mostly it is Iberian. So if we build that Great Temple, that is plus two pop conversion speed for the Great Temple. And for the Grand Theater, we have plus two pop assimilation. Ideally, we should get both. But I'm going to have a look around, guys, and then I'll decide where we're going to build. So, guys, I've decided to build a Great Temple in both Rode and Emporion over here. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to go for the Temple first because once they're converted to Hellenism, then they shall be ready to be converted to our glorious culture. And this nation, guys, is so, so unstable. Like, it is ridiculously unstable. All of these guys hate us. Like, no one really likes us at all. Um, and we're just getting corruption all over the place because of it. Um, so, <laughs> I, I, like, like I said before, guys, does anyone want to put their hand up maybe and, and say we want to be king? The problem is, the problem is... The oligarchs are not not very happy with us right now. Neither are the tra traditionalists, so we can't really go for the uh, promote oligarchy over here. Uh, but uh, well, maybe we could. But we need civilization greater than sixty. Let's let's see if we can do that. Well, guys, if we actually build two more libraries, we are currently at forty-eight civilization level, just over forty-eight. That will allow civilization another twelve percent. Which should be above 60. And then we'll look to see if we can maybe introduce some strength into the government, shall we say. <laughs> and the battle for Mago goes on. Come on, boys. Yes, let's go. We weren't able to land on there before. They pushed us back. But now we have taken it back. Very good. Very good. Finally, we can get onto our Roman traditions, my friends. Siege ability plus 10% is nothing to sniff at at all. That is very, very nice. And then we can get our plus one siege engineers with three innovations. And then further three innovations down here as well. So um, let's go down that path. That is going to be fantastic. Thank you, Romans. Sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. As another civil war is about to start. <laughs> Let's finish this war over here, guys. That is fantastic. Let's banish. Oh, we're not going to enslave them at all this time, but that should be fine. And then all we need to do is land on uh, Pity Yusai, and then we should be fine. Well, this is how low we have fallen, guys. We are literally granting holdings out to this guy. Like, literally the worst holdings possible. Like, this is 0.01, but it makes him happy. So, please, uh... Please be happy, my friend. Please be happy. <laughs> there we go. No more civil war, maybe? Oh, come on. Please. Please. And there goes the other civil war. Good, good, good. So like I say, guys, no more war. We're just going to chill for a little bit. We need to get stable. We are so, so unstable still. And um, what I am going to do is we do have a little bit of influence. So I am going to go around all of these provinces and just make sure they are set on the right policies because they do tend to change, don't they, my friends? And avoided another civil war by becoming friends um, <laughs> with the guy trying to start the war. Oh, God. <laughs> this is democracy manifest. <laughs> Well, now we have some more innovations. We're going to get some more very soon as well. We are going to be getting some happiness stuff because, god damn it, we, we need happiness, really, guys. We need happiness. Everyone is so unhappy in our nation. So in order to effectively administer some of these regions, guys, if we have a look at our map here and look at our nation, you can see in most of the provinces, apart from this this, this, and this. We do not, um, we have cities. So we have cities in nearly all of them. So maybe not that one as well. So what we need to do is start building cities in here and then we can start converting the population properly and start building a proper economy because yeah, we, we are struggling right now. And Rome, look at the amount of cities Rome has. It's just obscene, man. I mean, we're still in this just little pocket of Latium. We have five cities there, and that is like, there's four there, five. You know, that is a third of the amount of cities we have just in one province over there. So we do need to start ramping it up a little bit. Now, a good couple of tips, guys, when you are building cities. You want to make sure that you check the population. You don't want to build a city in a place that has a tiny amount of population because it's not going to get up and running straight away. So you want to build one in a larger amount of population and also check what is in this uh, this uh, province, for example. So here we have a load of tribesmen, some freemen, 
and a uh, only one slave. So what that means is, at the moment, all of these tribesmen are getting made into slaves because we can't fit any more freemen here, but we can fit more slaves. Whereas if I put that into a city, very likely that these tribesmen are then going to be promoted, especially the Hellenic Massalian, into freemen and then into citizens rather than the other way around because we'll need less slaves. Another thing that you want to check is the um, is the trade good because this makes fish. So it's going to change the trade good when we make this into a city. So you don't want to take away really valuable trade goods as well and especially if you have a region that is struggling for food this one is not so i am fine to uh, make it into a city remove the fish but if it was struggling for food don't build a city in a place where that produces food because then all your people are going to starve makes sense right so a couple of little tips there and stop guys before we carry on with the video i just wanted to say please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this series i'm also thinking about doing an a to z on Imperator Rome with all of the nations that have been in, uh, updated by Imperator Invictus. So if you want to see that, make sure you do comment down below. That would be amazing. There's not a huge amount that have been updated compared to the starting amount of factions at the moment. I mean, well, there's a, there's a decent amount, but it's not like 500. So um, I think that would be a very fun thing. So if you want to comment down below and tell me whether you'd like that or not, do let me know as well. And of course, I wanted to give a massive shout out to the mod. It is an amazing mod. It basically saves this game. That's how good it is. It makes this game very, very much playable and very enjoyable as well. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to the mod and the mod team. They are amazing. So my sneaky little plan, guys, for making us into a kingdom... Let's uh, let's talk about this. So <laughs> I was thinking about, of course, changing um, us around by um, changing us into an enshrined aristocracy or an oligarchy. Uh, I don't think that's necessary right now. What we should do instead is get an oligarch in charge, which, which if we actually have a look right now, he is an oligarch. He is the one that is most likely to be elected next which is very nice that's in 524 so we want to do that then then what we're going to do is get lifetime elections in place and then hopefully either the guy just says i'm a king and you get an event which i have seen before i don't know whether that's for republics or whether just for tribes i have seen that event before when i've been playing a tribal nation basically they just say we're now a kingdom <laughs> great that would be amazing or we have a horrible civil war, which we don't want. Or we maybe have more options in here to become a kingdom. So let's see. That's that's the plan. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> One of the little tip guys that you want to be using is always have a strategy when it comes to your advances. Don't just put in technologies just willy-nilly. Like, I really want to build some cities now. So I've searched found city up here which you can use for whatever you want and of course petition of the minorities which is minus 25 percent found city cost which is amazing but look how many that is away whereas if we go to religious we are about to get prescribed canon which would be very nice but household gods minus 10 percent which is very nice as well so we're going to get that first and then move down this way this is also going to have some good impacts pop promotion speed plus 20 percent over here is fantastic and the political influence is amazing so i would rather go with this way rather than that way but that is that is what you want to do guys just have a bit of a strategy when it comes to technology don't just put them in randomly and another city is founded fantastic my friends three massalian tribesmen as well become citizens that is what we like to see honestly guys the uh nicocrides family i think there's been a guy wanting to start a civil war in literally every generation <laughs> every generation of these bastards wants to start a civil war now it might not be the worst thing in the world for a civil war to happen because we might get a king from it but it will take forever with such vast expansive lands and it would be really really damaging to everything else so overall, I don't think it's a good idea. Let's bring the glory of the king out 
In peace. <laughs> in peace. Please. So you know we were talking about that event that might just raise a king up um, in general. Well, it's kind of come. It will come at the cost of a civil war. I am very, very, very sure of that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it won't. But I am pretty sure of that. But basically, I've just been pressing the one... Um, that will decrease the chance of foiling the, the plot every single time. So, I just hope... Asclash... Uh, Aclisp... As... Asclip... <laughs> bro, bro, can't you just have a normal name like Dave? Please. No, I'm joking, guys. Uh, he wants to be king. Uh, fine. Be king, please. Someone, just put your hand up. Okay, so... He didn't become king, he just made an oligarchic republic, which it's not worth the minus 25 stability. So yeah, we're now an oligarchic republic. The oligarchs are in charge. Let's have a look at our laws. Now we can go for lifetime elections. Do we have a decision to become a kingdom yet? No, but let's let's just destroy that stability even more, my friends. Let's just... <laughs> Big changes, big changes in the kingdom. Oh, th sorry, not the kingdom, the oligarchic republic right now. Um, so it's basically the elective monarchy right now. I mean, it's a lot better than what it was. Like, it was a lot better than what it was. We just have zero stability. <laughs> I mean, our new archon, king, <laughs> it's not the best, but um, uh, yeah, maybe he can bring us stability, please. Please do. And we're back up to 40 stability, guys. So we're not doing too badly. Uh, I am stockpiling money because once we have enough influence, we are going to start building some more cities. But but influence, of course, is a little bit of an issue right now. We, we haven't even got any of our ideas in there yet. So, yeah, it's going to be a struggle. And we have another Archon in charge. That's absolutely fine. Not a problem with that. But now we can get our three innovations from the Roman tree over here. So we're going to get household gods over here. Found city minus 10. Um, and then we are going to go to civics. And we're going to go for right to be heard. And then we're going to go down code of rights, of course. Freeman and citizenship output. Population promotion speed. 30% over here, which is actually fantastic. So we've been called to war by Arvernia. Let's just check who we are fighting. Just Salassia. That's actually absolutely fine. I don't mind Arvernia taking this because maybe then they will help us against Rome. But uh, we'll see. We're just going to send one army off to this war, guys. I'm not going to spend too much money and time on it. So uh, it looks like Arvernia has it pretty much already. I mean, we have, we have our own problems. <laughs> And I'm sure, guys, I didn't get a pop-up about this. But, um... Well, it's, it's not, not ideal. I mean, how, how are you leading the armies, my friend? Um... Yeah. <laughs> how? <laughs> like, that's, what, like, what? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't get a pop-up about that. I'm not going to lie. But luckily... All that money we saved to build cities, now we can build troops with it? <laughs> I mean, it's not good. It's not good. Like, I've only just, just peace out, bro. It's peace out, my friend. Uh, I'll help you with that, and then you can peace out, okay? Please, please, come and help us. Well, we've got some mercs. I think we will need more. But, like, what do we do with this war? That's that's the question. How are these guys? They're mainly Etruscan, so we would need to... Would need to... Yeah, a lot of these are not Roman provinces. It looks like it's just Latium that was mainly Roman. So, yeah, we would have to convert them. But if we can take anything from Rome, that'd be nice. But honestly, I don't remember. I, I must have been dumb uh, and just not seen it. <laughs> well, let's see how the battle goes, guys. It looks like we are winning... We do have 118% discipline, which, yeah, that is, that is very nice. So, looks like we're going to win this one at least. Um, but what to do with this army, I really don't know. Okay, Alvernia did peace out. That's, that's very, very, very useful. In fact, what we'll do is use the black flag to come all the way down here. Then we can back up this army, combine the two, 
Okay. Fighting Rome again, my friends. Fighting Rome again. Hmm. Always fun. Always fun. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't actually notice um, these guys get attacked. They didn't have full morale, but I was trying to get them onto full morale. So, can we retreat, please? Let's get out of there. Okay. We didn't actually lose too many men. And they only have... Is that only 33 ships? Hmm. I mean, they're mainly Liburnians. What do they have? Oh, they're mainly, um, what do you call them? Triremes, I think. So I don't think we could beat them. Are they going to assault the fort? Wait. No, they're just going to take the city. That's fine. Um, they still have to get past that fort, so that's okay. I think we go for some siege ability. I know we were going for the other thing, but... Yeah, let's go, let's go siege ability. I think, we, I think we, we genuinely do need that. We will have to get some more mercenaries at some point. But at the moment, I don't want to just tank my income that much for now. So, yeah. And like I say, I don't mind them taking, like, some of these provinces. Like, they're useless to us. They're going to rebel anyway. Like, this one's going to rebel, like, very, very soon. So, who really cares? <laughs> like, as long as you don't take, like, Massalia and that, that's fine. So, they do have 26,000 men over here now. Um... Which is never good. So hopefully we can take this very soon. Oh, come on. How quickly are fourth of all. Oh, I don't think we win this, guys. But let's see. Let's see. Can we do enough damage on that 10,000? I mean, it looks like we're going to lose to the 10,000 anyway. It's all archers. How are we losing to all archers, bro? Come on. I mean, this is a mess. That is probably why. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be very, very tough. And now they've taken Rome. That will be the war goal. So I feel like we're going to lose a lot of war score. Actually, not too much. Can we just get to Rome quickly before they get a big garrison? How much? 125. Go, 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 go. Okay. There we go. We protect Rome, I think. I think that's the option, guys. We just protect Rome. Um, Over here... Like, they've called in Thrace. Why? Thrace! What are you doing? Why are you here? <laughs> go home, Thrace. Go home. <laughs> oh, dearie me. And here's another 17,000. Oh, we just got an absolutely hammered by them. We're just getting absolutely hammered by them, aren't we? We just can't stand up to their, uh, their troops, unfortunately. I mean, ours are just a bit of a mess. That's the main issue. Like, like, what is this? Should not have got those Celts involved, should I, my friends? Okay, well, we won a battle up in the north. That's kind of the main thing. I mean, we have 30 war score right now. What were they trying to take? Take Latium. Yeah, as, as long as... I mean, they, they do keep doing that. But... I don't know. Where, where are the mercs around here? Can anyone show me the mercs? <laughs> well, let's get another 11,000. I mean, it's a lot of money, but I think we can sustain it. I mean, the worst thing... I think we just go for a big push and hope for the best. I mean, we can, we can spam a couple of these things if we need to. I don't want the, the lack of loyalty. Um... But yeah, let's uh, let's get that. Uh, we'll get that if we absolutely have to. We might get some events. You never know, guys. You never know. And we got stack wipe down in Latium, guys. That is not good. That is really, really not good. Uh, we are going to keep pushing, though. Hopefully, Alvernia can help us. They've basically done nothing so far. Like, okay, we've got a we've got a war of independence there as well. How have we gone to minus seven instantly? Now, too. Like, where has all our war score gone? War score gone. <laughs> where has the war score gone, my friends? Where has it gone? Well, they all come up north now, don't they? So, I think we need to mount a retreat. Either that or we need to get to there. But that's going to put us into a battle. I don't know whether these guys will be able to get to us. So... I mean, we have less troops as well. And I, I don't trust those Celtic troops with no innovations. Oh, maybe we can pick one off. Let's go for it. Come on, Alvernia. Help us. 
help us. Okay, we won that one. But now we're going to lose this one. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Yep, yep. 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 Retreat there. Retreat onto there. Okay, that's fine. We're not in a terrible place. We're just not in a good one. <laughs> and unfortunately, we're going to have to tank our stability here, guys. Um, yep. We're going to have to do that. Emergency tax as well. That's only 49 for the emergency tax. Really? I mean, that's that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. I think, honestly, the only way we can win this, guys, is if we do go sit on Rome again. Well, they've offered us a piece. No, we're not giving you anything, my friends. Like, let them let them take the city, the uh, the forts up here. Let's go go to Rome again. And now we can re-raise our levies in Transalpine Transal uh, Gaul. That's very good. That is very, very good. Let's uh, get them on the ships because they have instant, instant morale. Oof, very nice. Let's see what the Romans do to this. Let's see what the Romans do to this. Right, guys, like, why can you not move? No, no, not a disloyal guy. Ugh. Okay, well, we have slightly turned the tides. I mean, down here, like I say, I am not bothered about this at all. The only thing is if these guys get independence would be very very annoying but we have exploited our stability we're going to keep on doing that if we need to uh we've taken that settlement that's good i don't know where the roman troops are at the moment though that's the scary thing i'm assuming they're all coming down south to attack us so i may have to have to assault this it just might have to happen <laughs> So, let's see. Let's see, guys. Let's see. I've got to be wary. Got to watch this. Oh, and Rome has fallen, guys. Rome has fallen. Where are their armies? I know they've got 11k over here and some really annoying small stacks from their allies. I mean, why do you have so many allies? That's disgusting. Go away, Rome. <laughs> and honestly, I need the money. So, let's uh, be sacking these cities properly. Like, <laughs> I'm not... I'm sorry, local population. Uh, you don't deserve this, but um, eh, I'm sorry. Three non hides in a row. I, I don't even feel bad <laughs> at this point. I don't even feel bad anymore. I am slightly torn. We have just got those three innovations from the uh, from the military tr tradition. But yeah, we're going to go for the siege ability. Here's an extra 5% siege ability, which is insane. And then for the last one... Um, we will carry on going down this way. And now I can raise the pops from Italia too. So we actually have a pretty formidable army down here. Unfortunately, some of them are a little bit uh, damaged, but that should be fine. All right, let's go see if we can take on these Romans. Let's go, boys. Let's go. The Hubris, the Antigones, and Ptolemies are at war. Shock. Uh, yeah, I don't care about those sieges, honestly. it really They, they don't matter to me. What matters is this. What's going on here? Like, how? We're on the same tile. How have we not fought? Um, well, that's strange, but okay. <laughs> and how did we lose this, man? Oh. That's incredible. That is incredible. How did we lose this? We need more. We need more uh, mercs. Show me the mercs. <laughs> Well, they have been staring at me for a while. Time to get these boys. And worst case scenario, we're just going to sack a few more cities. So let's get them on reorganization. Get them going. We should kill this zero troop army here as well. And they lost because they have no morale. Against zero troops. <laughs> really? We just wasted so much money on that. Come on. <laughs> Right, boys, we are assembling a bit of a coalition here. Um, like I say, it doesn't really matter about this. This is just the distraction. Um, yeah, this is this is just the distraction. We'll leave Arvernia dealing with all this down here. They're actually not been touched by this war, so they're completely fine. Um, but like I say, I, I'm not bothered about the land down here. What I'm bothered about is is collecting some of this, creating that Western Empire, guys, that we talked about. Um, and yeah, we, we, we have the boys. We have the boys on the way, so let's go. Surely, with about 80% average morale, 38,000 men can beat 9,000. 
Many a ghoul has said that before, though. Uh, we're not ghouls. We're Greeks. So, surely, guys. Surely. Okay, come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Get involved. Yes, come on. Thank you. Thank... Oh, and we stack wipe them. That's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? That is what we like to see. All right, let's mop up a little bit of this land here. I'm thinking we'll go for Capua. We'll take... These two, and then maybe go for Capua. As long as our capital isn't sieged, I'm fine. Arvernia's dealing with that. Okay, we're all good. We're relaxed for now. <laughs> now, what I want to do here, guys, is take Ravenna. Because basically, by taking Ravenna, it's going to lock up all these troops up here. They're going to be stuck up here. Um, and if we need to, we'll maybe get another mercenary company that's around these lands somewhere. Just to beat them back if we need to. But hopefully Arvernia does okay. Doesn't look like they are. So time is against us right now. So we're going to have to move quick. And as usual, we had to have a civil war brewing while we're at war. I mean, let's uh, let's tank a little bit of our... Uh... Yeah. Uh, we could do with uh, sacking some cities. Let's wait a second. You sack Capua. That would be good. Please. Oh, no this one we're down to our last dollars no that wasn't a sack oh come on <laughs> you have to scrape some money then scrape some money like i say time is of the essence here guys time is of the, of the essence oh let's take their capital let's take their capital this is their capital now rome's dead there we go that's what we like to see guys that's what we like to see Come on, take this before this 18k gets here, please. Come on, really? Come on. Like, how many times do you have to be on 42%? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, dear. Well, of course, yeah, none shall hide. Um, and they can't get past us now. Quick, go. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, are we going to win? No, we're not. We're, we're not going to win. We're not going to win, but... It's okay. They should get stuck by that fort. Uh, this, this is, this, this is a problem. So, like I say, that is why time is of the essence. We are out, gonna out seed race them here. So uh, let's keep on going. Well, guys, I don't think we can risk anything more. We are bleeding money. Our lands are being absolutely ravaged. Look how many disloyal characters and provinces we have. <sighs> oh, they are on low. That is the good thing for us. Like, let's, let's just reset this. Can we take that? We can take that, no problem. Neapolis, not quite. Well, what? how far behind? 15. I mean, what if we get rid of some of this? Pompeii? I, I, I've got a feeling something bad might happen to that at some point. Well, guys, this is what we can take. So, taking Capua, Neapolis... And most of the coastal cities here, Kosai, Kyra, uh, Tarquinum, Vicentium, I don't think that's bad. So, like, I mean, it's not exactly crippling Rome. They still have a lot of cities. But these cities are some of the biggest ones that they have. 41 population in here. I mean, that one's not too good. 27. Oh, that's Carthage. Sorry. Um, but yeah, 28 in here, 26, 24, 19. They're all decent size. And that should supercharge our economy as well. Right, we've got to get rid of like all our mercenaries, all our troops, all that sort of thing. So before we go bankrupt, let's see how we're looking in a second. Unfortunately, the other, these guys did become independent. Um, I mean, it's, it's fine. <laughs> You do you, guys. You do you. How long is that truce for? 540, so we can actually get back to these guys very soon. Okay, guys, so here's how everything looks now. We have, of course, lost that little bit of land, but don't even think there's a city here. No, there's no city. So, yeah, we do have some disloyal provinces, but surprisingly, we do have high war exhaustion, but we are relatively stable. Um, we're not losing too much on a load of these. I mean, some of them, 32, is not good. But, uh, yeah, we need to uh, harsh treatment these boys. We do have some influence now, though, which is very, very nice. So um, once uh, once I've gone around and sorted out all these provinces, then we'll have a look at what we want to do. And I've got to say, 
There's something sweet about looking at your population after you've had a big war like that. Like if we go to Massalia, have a look at our population. Uh, we can have a look. Oh, we got a load of uh, Romans, Etruscans, Ligurians, Sabellians, Venetics, and Lucanians in here now. I wonder why. <laughs> it's because we took them all from over here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks Rome for that. Some nice free population. So it looks like we are going to have to fight a few more uh, civil wars here, guys. Uh, secessionist movements, rebellions. Uh, but the main plan now is to stockpile influence and treasury. And then basically um, build cities in all of these disloyal places. Just to try and make them a bit happier. Because, yeah, they're, they're not happy. <laughs> And preemptively, we're going to get ready for some of these rebellions, guys. So we're not going to be able to stockpile as much money. But um, once, we, uh, once we've fought off these rebellions, we are very close now to Petition of Minorities, which is amazing. It gives provincial loyalty and unintegrated culture happiness. And that minus 25% found city cost is amazing. One more tech for that. Oratory advances most likely will get that. That'll be absolutely superb um, and then we'll be ready to go oh i see i see what you're offering me there carthage um yes <laughs> i'll accept i'll absolutely accept that i know you have some land that i would maybe like but um you are dying over here really aren't you you are dying gizantia is absolutely massive the kingdom of fazan the boys oh come on let's go right let's go crush these fools and it looks like uh, some of the other people have joined them. Maybe more will, but um, yeah, we should be able to crush them pretty easily. And there we go, guys. Petition of the minorities. That is amazing. That is going to help so much. So if we have a look at some of the places where we don't have a city, for example, this province here. It's only 130 gold and 32 influence to found a city now, guys. Absolutely amazing. Let's get that in there. We've got enough for nearly three nearly three we've actually got cities down here so that should be okay so when we take this land back that we'll want to uh maybe found another one and there we go uh rebellion put down my friends which is good so let's do that we'll also banish them first and foremost and yeah we are going to build some cities in here now which should be good for us this one is quite a good one with the dies um but yeah, this does have 11 and it produces marble. But I think we'll keep the marble. So uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, this will not get a different one. It'll stay as dies. That's good. And then what do we want to do in here? Well, let's go for Gallicum over here. We're going to get that. And then we do have enough money. We just don't have enough influence for one over here. Which we're probably going to use a coastal province for this one. And the final city in these provinces is going to be constructed now. That is very good. Now we just need to um, save up a bit of money so we can actually build in those cities. <laughs> well, guys, I think we're finally going to leave it there for this run. We fought Rome again. We have established a Greek empire in the West. Maybe not as big as I kind of wanted in the end, but we were plagued by internal strife this whole run. Like, our external strength has been great. But our internal strength has been very, very weak. Makes me really not want to play a Republic for a while, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but do let me know, guys, if you did enjoy this video, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. We did actually avoid civil wars. We had rebellions, but we have avoided a civil war this whole time, which is kind of impressive. Like, uh, with the amount of terrible, terrible uh, strife we've had within our own country. Do let me know, guys, if you would like to see an A to Z of the Imperator Invictus um, factions, all of that sort of thing. That would be amazing. I would really look forward to playing that. And one final thing, guys, I really want some tips for how to play a migratory tribe. I've never done a full playthrough of those. I've mainly just done kingdoms um, and settled tribes. So do let me know, how do I play a migratory tribe? I would really love to hear all of your tips but anyway thank you very much for watching guys it's been a pleasure as always please do like and subscribe and i'll see you all again on the next video